Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Plex server, MB server, and TV head end server, which is a DVR. I'll show you how to do that running on that $40 uh, Android box running that we installed Linux on. And this is really easy. Even an old man like me can figure out how to do it. The first thing we need to do is be able to mount uh, our drives. I'm using external drives, my NASA's, and we have to mount those on that $40 box. So we're going to do that using PuTTY. Now, my IP address is 90. And I log in as root, and I put my password. Okay, oh, five updates to install. Anyway, I'll do that in a minute. So first thing I need to do is install the NFS kernel. Because some of my uh, uh, videos and stuff like that uh, on my NAS are using uh, NFS protocol. The other ones are SMB protocol, so I have to use that. So anyway, we're going to do this. And this is my cheat sheet. Makes things really easy. Okay, this particular one, I cannot use the sudo. I gotta use the app. Okay, copy. Now it depends on whether I'm logged in as root or as a user, whether I have to use the sudo or not. Okay, now I've already installed the kernel, so I'll That's the NFS uh, kernel. It'll be able to read the uh, the ones. It really doesn't take that long to install everything and everything. I can have everything set up in probably half an hour because I've done it a few times. Okay, now we're going to get the app update again. This time we're going to get the uh, CF CIFS. That gives me the SMB. Okay, so you got the newest. Okay, now this one, what I've got to do, I've got to make directories. So I'm going to copy those. Copy. Now one thing I want to do here, I want to go back to the root directory. Let's see if I can do these. That pseudo may be killing me right now, so I will just do this. No, it fell apart. Okay, so I got to use this one here. Make directory. Again, this is my cheat sheet that I've created. Let's see if we got them. LS dash A L O. And again, I yeah, they're there. You can't see them, but they're there. All right, it's hard for me to um, explain all this because I am. A novice when it comes to uh, Linux. Let's do an ls again. Dash. Yep, okay, what it did, it gave them uh, chmod 777. But anyway, that's how I do that. Okay, now the next thing I have to do. We want to make sure that we've got nano installed, which I believe it is. And I say editor. Yeah, it's already installed. Okay, now we have to go to the LFS tab. Okay, now there is the file up etc FS tab. Okay, now this is where we have to put our information. 
Now these are the locations of all my uh, media. Again, it's from a cheat sheet that I created. Okay, now I'm going to hit Control Shift O and then hit Enter. Okay, now I just created that. Now I hit Shift, Control Shift, Exit, and I'm back to here again. Okay, now to verify that everything was working okay, we're going to try Mount A just to verify that everything's okay. Mount Point Kids does not exist. Okay. So what that's telling me, I need to create a Mount Point Kids does not exist. I need to create that. So what I will do, I will go back here and create it. So anyway, let me finish that up and then I'll show you some more. Okay, now that we have our external drives mounted to this Android box, now the next thing we need to do is to install Plex. We're going to install Plex first because if I install Embly first, Plex will override it. So anyway, we do that Plex first. Okay, we're going to do this. Now again, I'm using my cheat sheet that I've created because I don't know anything about uh, there again, we, we cannot use the sudo. Again, I do not know very much about Linux. I'm slowly learning for an old man, but I am slowly learning. But I've created this from different research on uh, the net, so Google is fantastic about this. fat fingered it. When you fat finger it, it's a good thing you got an undo under the edit, so that's always slick. Again, this is my cheat sheet. It took me quite a while to compile all this information to make it work, so here we go. We got accept this with a capital Y. Okay, Plex Media Server Installer. So that's installing the Plex server right now. And it is using the one that they adapted from the Synology Plex. So this is running on a, a little low-powered ARM device. And same thing, your early, older Synology is also run on ARM devices. Starting Plex Media Service, done. So Plex is running now. Now, in order to set it up, we would just type in HTT 127. Now, if that's if we had installed it on the same machine that we're looking at, we'd use that. But here we're going to use this one here. So what I would do, I would just copy that and use whatever IP address you have on yours. Go there, click that, and click paste and go. Okay, it hasn't shown up yet. I guess I did. Anyway, what it's doing right now, it is communicating my browser 
is communicating with my box connected to the TV running Linux. So it really shouldn't take that long. Please wait a moment while Plex starts. But anyway, that's what we have to do to get Plex. Next, I'll show you how to install MB server and then TV head in server. So that's it for how we install Plex. Now, this will show up in just a minute. So, oh, there it is right now. Okay. So, put that out. Server setup. And that's the MLogic S905X. That's the one I've got. Great, we found the server. So now I just go through and set it up. So now that $40 MLogic box becomes a Plex server. Add library, go to movies. Uh, let's see, I call these Blu ray movies. Blu-ray movies. Next, browse for the media. Now here's where we mounted them. Blu-ray movies, right there. Click that, add it, add library, and we're done. That's it, right there. Okay. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to install Envy. Thank you.